What's up YouTube? My name is Darian and I want to welcome you guys to this new YouTube channel that I'm starting. It's not my first YouTube channel, but it's the first one that I'm doing on development stuff. So it's going to be called Darian the Dev, you know, for obvious reasons. And I, I kind of just wanted to uh, make a channel that helps aspiring developers to hone their skills pretty much because Christian was a huge inspiration for me. I just love how he has traced his journey since his the beginning of him teaching himself coding on Treehouse all the way to where he is now on YouTube. It really inspired me watching his growth and he's been really consistent too. So I think that's why I know that there's a lot of programmers that have started channels around their journey, but Krishan is the one that really stood out to me the most and inspired me to do this the most. So I figured I would uh, start this off with my first vlog kind of quick and just kind of give you guys a background about me and how I got into development and then where this channel is gonna be headed from here on out. I've been teaching myself the program for about three years now, but don't don't be like, oh, he's you know, he's probably so advanced and all the other stuff because it, it's not like that at all. The three years that I've been kind of on and off teaching myself programming, basically I had an app idea is trying to learn just how to do anything app or program related. That's what I wanted to just learn the, the basics and then hopefully work my way up to back end languages. So I started off with front end development in 2015. I started with HTML5, CSS, and a little bit of Bootstrap too. Yeah, I took those basics and I built a few websites, like maybe three or four, and I pretty much did all this for free. So I reached out to friends that I had who were working on like nonprofits or people that I knew that were passionate about a certain um, idea they were pursuing and everyone needs a website nowadays so it shouldn't be too hard to find those people if you're just getting into development but I pretty much reached out to find anyone who was working on a website or who needed a website and I basically offered to do it for free if they would kind of just work with me a little bit and my skills at that point and if they would also let me put it in my front end development portfolio. And I was I was doing a little coding here and there on things like Free Code Camp, Code Academy, Khan Academy, Udemy, SkillsCrush.com. I'll put a link to all this stuff down in the description below so you guys can kind of go check out all the different things. But I basically jumped around a lot because I didn't know where to start. So I started doing front end on and off from 2015 to about 2017. I would, I would program a little bit take a step back and pick it back up you know two months later so I was really inconsistent and I think that was part of my like struggle to really um, get good at front-end development I'm gonna speak a little bit louder because there's a there's a train going by here I was mainly focused on front-end I tried to learn JavaScript but it was really really difficult for me on the back-end stuff so uh, I pretty much just took Udemy courses like I said uh, I built things so I had about maybe five websites or so so I had some stuff up on github um, and I had a few websites that I had done, you know, they weren't that good. I used Bootstrap for a lot of the heavy lifting stuff. Um, and I pretty much was just trying to get used to working in a, an editor, um, trying to get used to syntax in different languages. But I realized quickly how limited I was just doing front end. And I, I wasn't really passionate about front end development. I really wanted to be a back end developer. So, um, so uh, as a quick little aside, um, I took a job at the end of 2016 through mid-2017 where I worked with uh, some kids in a startup basically teaching lower level coding. So that, that year and a half that I had been working on my front end HTML, bootstrap uh, skills, a little bit of JavaScript, CSS, the little bit of knowledge I had from those websites that I built and the stuff that I had learned there was enough to allow me to get this job offer to basically teach kids a, a lower form of JavaScript and some other visual programming stuff called Scratch and a few other things. So I did that for about eight months, almost almost close to a year. But I think doing that gave me a lot of experience, a lot of practice, like looking at code, just getting familiar with syntax, looking at JavaScript. I learned a little bit more about how things work under the hood, but by this point, I'm still like, not writing code whatsoever as far as back-end code goes. I still know front-end HTML, CSS, and a little bit of Bootstrap, and I can I can make a website, you know, mobile-friendly and um, you know, web web-friendly, all that stuff. But um, but like I said, I was really passionate about building back-end technologies and building actual applications that people can use and you know make people's lives better basically so I knew I had to learn a back-end language flash forward to 2018 I'm here downtown right now in Detroit and 
and we have a program here called Grand Circus. Now, if you don't know what Grand Circus is, it is a coding boot camp or a technical training school, not necessarily a college. They're really focused on helping people transition from one career into a career of programming, web development, and technical skills, basically. So they have these boot camps, which I'm sure you can look up online. If you haven't heard of a programming boot camp, you can look. You know, there's there's tons of them all over the country and all over the world. But um, so Grand Circus has boot camps that uh, basically, you know, take people who have programming experience but aren't necessarily programmers, and pretty much get them employment ready through technical skills within eight to 12 weeks, give or take, depending on which course you take. A month or two ago, uh, applied for uh, a scholarship with their boot camp, which would teach uh, Java in eight weeks. So in eight weeks, you would go from knowing very minimal Java or minimal Java uh, to being employment ready in Java in eight weeks. So it's a five day a week course, Monday through Friday, I applied. Now, I think this is really key for anybody who might, excuse me, just be getting into programming out there and you might not necessarily know if you're good enough to you know really apply for those jobs or maybe apply for a boot camp like i did or really test your skills as a programmer but in actuality the coursework that they gave for the program in java that we had to complete before they would make a decision about which students would make it into the final class roster that coursework actually ended up being not not easy so by no means am I saying it was easy but I was able to understand it and I was able to not be lost in an entirely new language which was Java and I had never seen Java uh, before really in my life so three weeks ago I saw my first lines of Java which was the pre-work for the boot camp that we had to finish in order to be accepted into the boot camp and like I said three weeks ago I saw my first lines of Java with about two years of just on and off programming experience that I taught myself and I was able to complete the coursework in Java I was able to understand everything not master it but I was able to understand a lot of concepts that uh, might have been really difficult for me to understand a few years ago or it just might have been a little beyond my scope as a programmer had I not kind of dabbled in JavaScript and had some experience practicing with those things and learning what loops are and methods like the the basic fundamentals of what all programming languages have in, in need um, is really what I would encourage you guys to go learn and get comfortable with that and how computers work and and what makes a programming language a programming language and then from there I think it becomes a lot easier to really learn what the difference from one to the next one is or to pretty much learn them no way shape or form am I a Java programmer yet however today is my first day of orientation for my Java bootcamp which will start on Monday October the 8th today is October the 4th 2018 I'm really excited I want to keep you guys up to date I want to vlog I want to blog I want to keep you guys posted on how my journey is going pretty much keep you in the loop about you know what I'm learning what it's like to go through a boot camp my life after the boot camp life during the boot camp with homework and things like that I want to you know shed share feedback with you guys on things that I'm learning or tips and tricks and helpful things for new programmers like all that good stuff is gonna be right here on the Darien the dev YouTube channel thank you guys if you watch this far thank you for listening to this story and I hope you choose to subscribe um, you know go ahead and like this video if it helped you out at all and I will continue to update you guys and upload and give you guys new content for beginning programmers so Again, Starian, this is Darian the Dev. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.